Okay, if you'll turn your pages to the, or turn your books to the page that has the bracket right uh, exercise, <clears throat> uh, should look like this. Uh, let's talk about this for just a minute. We're going to create this using freeform geometry, but uh, for the pockets on this, the lines are actually going to be our foundation geometry, and we're going to use the fillets as dependent geometry. Uh, creates kind of an interesting workflow uh, and on, on this part I really want you to focus on workflow. Uh, so we've got four shapes that we're concerned with. The outside of the part and on the outside of the part this line here is a construction line to allow us to create this line here. This line is not part of the part, it's just a construction line. Uh, then we have a left-hand pocket, a right-hand pocket, and an island that's in the left-hand pocket. Uh, let's look at a couple of these Y dimensions here. Just to, the, the lines are kind of close. We want to make sure there's no confusion. Uh, in the Y, an inch 425 is the dimension to this back corner of this island. And the top edge of this island is at 10 degrees. The inch 560 dimension goes to the right hand hole, the hole that is at x minus 1.09. And the inch 580 dimension goes to the left hand hole, the hole that is at x minus 1.308. And then the inch 675 dimension goes to the bottom edge of the island. All right. Another thing that I want to point out is that this circle on the outside of the part is duplicated inside this pocket as well as inside this pocket. And this uh, 313 radius here on the outside is duplicated inside this pocket. So kind of keep those things in mind as we get to them. Now I'm going to move through this fairly quickly. Uh, I'm not doing anything that we haven't already discussed in length. I just want to give you a sense of how I would approach doing this. Now when we're doing parts with multiple shapes, uh, I have a strong tendency and would strongly encourage you to deal with those one at a time. We're going to finish the outside shape, get it complete, and then leave it alone. And then we're going to focus on one of the pockets, we'll get it complete, and then leave it alone. Then we'll focus on the other pocket, get it complete, leave it alone, and then we'll do the island last. And then we'll finish out with circles for our holes and, and clean up the drawing. All right, so... If you follow along, I'm going to start out by creating a half inch radius around the origin, a 313 radius at this location, x minus 3, y minus 2.088, and a 3 eighths radius at x 5.5, y minus 2.025. That's going to be the foundation geometry for the outside of this part. Once we have this line, we will create a 3 eighths parallel line that will actually be this top edge. We'll delete that line and reconnect. So let's get the outside of this part done. So uh, looking at our drawing, again, for the size of our part, uh, I'm just going to go a little beyond what I know is enough. So five and a half plus a, you know, a, a three-eighths radius. I'm just going to go six inches to the right, maybe three and a half to the left. Uh, we've got a half-inch radius here. Maybe I'll go three-quarters in the Y positive and minus two and a half in the Y negative, something along those lines. So my maximum X, I'm gonna say is six inches. My minimum X is minus three and a half. My maximum Y, I'm gonna make three quarters of an inch. My minimum Y minus two and a half. And we're gonna stick with an inch thick. So I'm gonna save this, I'm gonna X out of that, and I'm gonna draw three circles. I'm going to draw a circle by radius and center point. My first circle is going to be at the origin, and it's got a half-inch radius. Shift, enter. And then I'm going to draw a 313 radius at x minus 3, y minus 2.088. And then I'm going to draw a 375 radius at x 5.5, y minus 2.025. All right, that's the foundation geometry for the outside of this part. Now I'm going to draw lines tangent to each of these. So I'm, um, I'm going to draw a line. Notice that my right hand is on the mouse, my left hand is on the enter key. So I just click on the two 
first circles, hit shift enter. Sorry, I should have done that first. Now right hand on the mouse, left hand on the enter key. Select the one that I want, hit enter, just click on the next two features, hit enter, select the one that I want, hit enter. The next two features, hit enter, select the one that I want, and hit enter. All right, I'll escape out of there. Now I'm going to draw a line parallel to this line offset by 3 eighths of an inch. I want this one. And now I'm finished with this construction geometry. So just like on everything else, I'm going to select it. If there is a connector at either end of it, I usually will select those and delete all of that. Now, I could connect this line to this circle, but since it's not tangent, every time I've got to select which intersection I want. Since there are radiuses in these corners, to me it is easier to say I want a circle tangent to that and that with a quarter inch radius, shift enter, right hand of the mouse, left hand of the enter key, select the one that I want, hit enter, click on the next two features, hit enter, select the one that I want, and hit enter. We'll reverse this, and we have the outside of the part complete. Uh, I will now leave it alone. So let's create the geometry for the left hand pocket. I've got a line parallel to this line, uh, offset by an eighth of an inch, eighth inch typical. So eighth inch parallel here, eighth inch parallel here, and then this line is at x minus an eighth. It's just a vertical line at x minus an eighth. And then I've got a piece of this outside circle inside this pocket and a piece of this outside circle inside this pocket. So let's create that geometry. That's going to be our foundation geometry. So I'm going to do line parallel to this offset by an eighth of an inch, shift enter, select the, the one that I want, hit enter, select here, hit enter, select the one that I want, and hit enter. Now, a lot of people would want to go ahead and do the parallel line over here, but I want to focus on just one pocket at a time. So I'm going to draw another line, a vertical line, at x minus an eighth of an inch, and then I'm going to select this circle and this circle, and control D to duplicate them. That is all of my foundation geometry for this pocket. Now, it would be very quick to go through and do this with contour trace and then just put the fillets in. Uh, that's a fairly new way of, of creating a shape from this. Uh, I'm going to do it a little differently, just kind of following up on how I did the outside here. Uh, I'm going to go to circle, click on the first two features, type in the radius, hit shift enter, Right hand of the mouse, left hand of the enter key. Select the one that I want, hit enter. Click on the next two things, hit enter. Select the one that I want, hit enter. Next two things, hit enter. Select the one that I want. And just walk around the part like this. So a smooth workflow taking advantage of the uh, strengths of Gibbs uh, makes very short work of things like this. All right. Right hand pocket. Don't want to forget the peninsula, so I'll, I'll make sure I include this in my geometry. I've got a parallel line here offset by an eighth of an inch, which is the same line as this. I need to keep that in mind. Uh, this line is in two different places, so I want to make sure that I finish one of these segments before I get to the other one. Another parallel line here, which is actually the same line as that, so I could either draw that as a parallel line or just duplicate that line. And then I've got a vertical line at an eighth of an inch in the X, another one at one and eight seventy five, another one at two and an eighth, and then I have a horizontal line at Y minus one point six seventy five. Additionally, I've got a piece of this circle inside that pocket. All right, so let's create that geometry. Jumping back over to Gibbs, I'm going to draw parallel lines here, offset by an eighth of an inch. Shift Enter. I'm going to select the one that I want. Enter, and I'll do this as a parallel line rather than duplicating that one just because I was already in that mode. Uh, I'm going to draw a line, axis line, vertical line at an eighth of an inch, shift enter at uh, 1.875, whoops, try that again, 1.875, a little difference between 1 and 7 eighths and 3 sixteenths, um, and then 2 and an eighth, and then switch to horizontal, and minus 1.675. Additionally, I need a piece of this. I'm going to duplicate that. Click off in space. And we're ready to go. All right. Now, every corner in this pocket has a quarter inch radius in it, except for these two. 
Plus this line just kind of shooting through the middle of everything uh, could potentially be a little confusing. So I would probably start out just by connecting this and connecting this. All right, now this line in the back of my mind, I know that this line exists in two places. I've got a segment of it up here, another segment of it down here. Uh, I want to make certain that I finish one of these segments before I get to the other one. So what I'm going to do is start here and work my way around this way. That way I get this connection and that connection done before I ever get to anything down here. So I'm going to draw a circle, same strategy, tangent to these two features, quarter inch radius, shift, enter, right hand of the mouse, left hand of the enter key, select the one that I want, hit enter, click on the next two features, enter the one that I want, and just walk around this a piece at a time. Now we get to here, and I need this line back. I can stay in the same mode that I'm in, just highlight that, Control D, the copy is already selected, so I'm just going to click down here, hit enter, select the one that I want, and finish this out. And there's the right hand pocket. For the island on the left hand side, uh, I would probably just use Geometry Expert. Start out with a vertical line at X minus 1, horizontal line at Y minus 1.675, uh, vertical line at minus 2, and then switch to a 10 degree line that passes through a point at X minus 1, Y minus. 1.425. That's that upper right corner right there. The location I defined is that corner right there. And then just close the shape out. All right, so there, there are four shapes. Uh, I'll finish this out just by dropping in my final hole location. So I'm going to have X minus 1.308 at Y minus 1.580. Shift enter and then X minus 1.090 at Y minus 1.560 and then at X2 Y minus 785. Right, it looks off center, but it's an optical illusion because of these radiuses. All right, uh, if I want to draw circles for my holes, um, I probably should have. Uh, had the whole locations in there, I'm going to go to point and center point and just drop a point in each of these just to make life a little bit easier. I'm going to draw circles, radius and center point around this point with a radius of 0.1875. It's a 3 8 hole. Shift enter. Around this point with a 0.375, it's a 3 quarter inch diameter hole. And around this point with a quarter inch radius, it's a half inch diameter hole. And around this point, this point, and this point with a 0 0.0625, it's an eighth inch diameter hole. So that gets circles for all my holes. If I were modeling this or just wanted circles for the hole locations. Uh, to get rid of all the construction points, again, I'm just going to go to Edit, Select Special, Select All Points. Again, that also selects the connector, so if I delete those, my whole part comes unglued. So I'm going to undo that and go back to Edit and deselect connectors. There are no terminators in this part, so anything that's left selected can be deleted. Uh, I actually use uh, the Select All Points and then Deselect Connectors and Terminators often enough that I have those three buttons on my working interface. So I can just click, 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 and delete anything that's still selected and clean up a drawing really, really quickly. All right, so go ahead and take a, take a shot at this. Um, deal with the shapes one at a time. The outside shape would be my recommendation to do first, and then one of the pockets, then the other pocket, and then the island. Uh, so finish each shape before you move on to the next shape. Uh, save the circles for holes for last. Uh, it's always a good idea. And then um, uh, just take your time and focus on one shape and really just one piece of geometry at a time and figure out uh, how you can define that piece of geometry. Uh, also, as you're closing these up, uh, work on uh, developing that workflow, right hand on the mouse, left hand on the enter key, get into multi-feature mode for these circles, and you can just walk right around the shape and connect it up in no time at all.